Smash. Yeah. 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 was a great weekend. It was a good weekend for Smash. Oh yeah, I've, I heard a lot about it. I haven't watched any of it. Um, I plan on going back and watching some of it. All right, so now we got uh, LSD's own Jack. He goes by Esper Amore. Uh, no, 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 he's O, yeah. Oat. He's O again. Let's go, Furcon. For those of you who don't know, Oat stands for of all trades, because his first name is Jack, so he's the Jack of all trades, considering he doesn't have like a set main. He kind of he kind of dual mains uh, Cloud and Fox. And Mewtwo lately. Yeah, he's really been trying to pick up some Mewtwo. It's not about to be what uh, Jay tells Mewtwo was, though. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. close, though. He actually told me prior to going to this tournament that he wanted to use Mewtwo all today. Or, I mean, not, not to use Cloud at least. So let's see how that appears for him. Exactly. What? He's going with the name Furcon 2016? Uh, Jack has some uh, interesting hobbies. And, um... Oh, was that Jabba? No. He's admitting to want to do some uh, pretty personal things with Fox. And Falco and Wolf. And the, 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 whole, the whole Star Fox series. The, just all of them. Oh, yeah. Getting like, to this game one, Marth versus Mewtwo. Right. What do you think about this matchup? Uh, Marth has what it takes to kind of keep Mewtwo at bay, but Marth is also tall. and uh, if, if Marth gets a tipper, he can kill Mewtwo at some pretty low percents, but other than that, I think Mewtwo has the tools to uh, do some work against Marth as well. Mm -hmm. I say in the neutral, Mewtwo has a slight advantage because he also kind of has like a sword, almost like with down tilt spacing and pair spacing. Oh yeah. And also the projectile shadow ball kind of keeps Mewtwo approach a little bit. But X Crescent right now, just keeping him on the ledge, not letting him recover. Oh, Good neutral air. I feel like offstage Mario, not Mario, uh, Mewtwo would do better, but Jack's not the type of player to really commit offstage too much. Yeah, he's more of an onstage kind of guy. He doesn't really go for like those suicidal dares or stuff like that. No. That board though, going to rack on a lot of percent. Oh, catches Ooh, him with the up good. smash. Good yeah. catch. He did the, uh, the sliding up smash. Yeah, Mewtwo having a really good glide with that too. That's a jump cancel up smash or something? Yep, jump cancel up smash. Mewtwo is like one of the best ones in the game actually. Oh yeah. Because of his weight and gravity, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. X Crescent looking to get something started, but there he goes again. Another jump cancel up smash. That's really good too because it just lasts so long and if you can drag the hitbox along. Yeah. It's, not that, it's not that bad of a spacing tool either because of how deceptively long it can go. Mm -hmm. Oh, X Crescent though, starting something big here, keeping him off stage. Doesn't want to let him come back for free. Oh. Oh, gets hit by the Shadow Ball, though. Runs right into it. So Jack here with a really dominant uh, percentage lead. He's just kind of staying in Marth's like, range. He's not letting Marth do much of what Marth wants. Kind of like spacing it. He's all up, up, up in there. It's that tail. Once they're both in the air, it's like anyone's game. Mm -hmm. It's almost like two sword fighters. Up throw, not going to kill yet. Almost. Oh, but Ooh, that might. Oh, no, not sweet spot back here. Ooh, the drop down fair wasn't a bad idea, though. Jack going for a hard read with the down air. Doesn't quite get it, though, and instead takes an up B. Oh, let's see. Up smash. Nope. Good. Returning the grab. I think it's 10 more percent up throw might kill, actually. Dude, Mewtwo's at so much rage, I think his up throw would also kill. They both are at, like, up throw kill percents right now. Oh, yeah, they both are now. Which is kind of scary, though. Just needs one right. grab. Whoever gets the oh, grab. That's oh, it. and he's just going to do a point blank shadow ball. That's yep. totally, if, you know what, that's a great option. If somebody's coming in like that, they either have to air dodge and take whatever you're going to do after they get the landing lag, or they just have to eat it. Yeah, I agree with that. Right. Let's see how I, um, X Crescent makes adjustments now coming into game two. X Crescent uh, could definitely make adjustments. He's, he's really good. Um, a lot of the times, that I've seen him lose a couple sets, I feel like he shouldn't have lost, but I mean, he's just one of our top players who doesn't consistently do top level stuff. He's, he's getting there though. He has like moments of genius where like, you see him like break away from the bread and butter and he just does some really nasty stuff. Right, yeah. I mean, it's hard to be consistent sometimes, you know? And Marth, especially, not being a top tier, requires a lot of skill, a lot of technical know-how, a lot of spacing, like... I give him props. Going to FD though right now for yeah. game number two. Yeah, we're going into it. Let's see if X Crescent can uh, make some adaptations. I totally think he can. Out of a lot of people, you've been playing Marth for so long, you see it in his gameplay. He'll play other characters and you can just see him like spacing the attacks towards like the ends of the hitboxes, make contact. Yeah. That's like here now, he's like not committing. He's kind of keeping his space, kind of like doing a lot of empty pops now. Not really over overdoing it. Having um, Jack come, or Oak come in a lot more in this second game. Oh. You, want to get, you don't want to do it too much though. You don't want to give Mewtwo free Shadow Balls. I know, yeah. X Crescent definitely making more of a... Oh, 
all the down Oh my god, just rid all those air dodges right there. Jack kind of needs to get out of there and sort of like maybe just say, like jumping away or not air dodging so much. Oh Ooh, my god. Great pivot shield break into the face. Man, I feel like Jack was like a, being a, maybe a little bit too aggressive. I don't know. Was, the confidence from the last match probably was his bane. I know, yeah. I feel like now X Crescent's made all the adjustments now. Yeah. I was at a loss for words trying to describe it earlier. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of a difficult situation because FD, there's not really much platforms for Mitsu to kind of use upper juggling or up smash catching. But it's kind of, I wonder why X Crescent would pick FD. I don't know actually. Maybe just to kind of just have more space to move around on. Catch air dodges, maybe like we read landings and not have to deal with platforms. Um, it's working out though, whatever it is. F is FD the longest stage? The closest uh, to the sides? Duck hunt. Wait, like just length? Yeah. Length wise, duck hunt, then FD. Okay. Oh my god, just crouched under the up smash? I thought it was. Oh! That's it. That was great. The same to up smash. Good job by Jack. Not too much percent right now. 45. Definitely doable for Oat. Oh. Not letting him come back. So now Oat. God, that forward throw does so much damage. He's at 6% before he grabbed him. Yep. Charging the shield break, Jack's not gonna punish it. They're just gonna I was like, careful, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to outspace each other, just kinda like playing with the fingertips. Yeah. Now X Crescent. Oh, Ooh, getting the tipper. tipper forward smash. Right before he could grab ledge. Mm -hmm. It was great Jack, stuff. Jack used sidekick so it prevented him from snapping ledge. Now going to game three. What's up? Bugsy dual mains Diddy and Kong. Wait, is that the yellow one? Who is Kong? Is it Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong? <laughs> Going into game three, let's see if Jack can make adjustments. Alright, sorry. Going into this game three now. Dreamland, that's a counter pick. Definitely Mewtwo's one of his best stages, I'd say. Much better. Um, like I was saying last time, the reason why I asked was because I know that Marth, with his recovery, really has to hold on to his second jump to guarantee he gets back to the stage. So I was just imagining that he picked FD to like guarantee uh, his recovery. Yeah, no, I can definitely see that. And working out right now, having a good 69% lead on him. Oh. Dancing Blade not going to work, just holding that shield. And then Jack's just going to get a grab and use that forward throw for a lot of percent. Jack's not pummeling, I'm realizing. Yeah, he doesn't really, he's using more down tilt and better, which is Mewtwo's main tools first in the neutral. Oh yeah. But, um, let's see Dancing Blade. That's going to get him. Something that I haven't seen a lot of from X Crescent is Nair. No. For, um, like, like, like retreating Nair, or for like approaching yeah. it. It's not I, bad. I was going to say, yeah, I know it's, oh, it's good. It for Roy's neutral game, it's like essential. I don't know how good it is for Mars, but yeah. Oh, but Jack getting uh, what's that flip move called? The reflector thing? Oh, I call it confusion. Oh yeah, confusion. Sorry, yeah, that's, that's confusion to up smash. Oof, holding that shield a little too it long. Might be it might be psychic though. I think confusion is the one that dazes them. Oh no, that, that's that's disabled. Oh, is it disabled? Yeah, oh, that, okay, that so was yeah, disabled. Yeah. It's confusion. Oh, nice. forward smash though. Yep, Anyone's separate. game right now. Game three. Both players seem to have made adjustments. Ooh, I said that sloppily. No. Oh, this is kind of hype. Jack kind of just wanted to keep stage control. Doesn't want to let X Crescent get really get back on stage. Good tech. Jab into tech, grab. Tech to jab to grab. Good stuff by Jack. He's really good at getting those grabs with Mewtwo. Yeah, he is. Jack is a. No matter who he's playing as, he'll get a lot of grabs. Uh, he's a, Surprisingly, Jack likes to grab. Yeah, I mean, it's good. But that's a good thing. It's a good habit to have, though. Yeah, it is. Ooh, X Crescent going a little bit too much with that shield breaker. Wispy's going to break the grab. Oh, that's careful. He's, he needs to be careful with that shadow ball. Ooh. X Crescent looking for a tip on the up air. Ooh. Jack recovering with a fair. He's getting really close. Jack going, going with the up smash. Oh, Ooh. doesn't catch the tight end roll. Jack just trying to get back on stage. Oh, great mash. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think an up throw would have killed, though. He only got two pummels on that. Jack's really looking for that up smash. And oh. does he get it? No, he doesn't. Wow. Oh, that's it. He's going to eat it with an up smash from X Crescent. 
Very good game. Egg Press had managed to make the comeback after a very dominating first match. Yeah. Jack was kind of throwing out that up smash a little bit, or yeah, the up smash a little bit too much at the end. He threw like four or five, and then X Press just made all the right adjustments. Said, I'm going to hold shield now. Good stuff. Return it with my own up smash. Yeah. Very good. Very top, good. Uh, it's also a platform on on uh, Battlefield, or Battlefield. <laughs> Dreamland. Really yeah. good stuff. Yeah, no, I love taking people to Dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cook for that.